Hello and welcome back everybody. How are you guys girls doing today? I hope you're doing well. So today I've got a quite a cool video. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get something which is uh, not smart or you know something which is not really controlled by Wi-Fi or internet and get it connected to Google Home right and being able to turn it on off uh, was basically voice or an app on a mobile and in this example right I'll be using this candle right so this is a candle uh, it's an electric one which is good definitely can't f light fire with Google Home yet well I ha haven't found the way anyway so it's an electric candle and it has this uh, remote control which comes with it um, those candles you know you pick them up on Amazon or any anything but they, they are quite cool and I actually do use them throughout the house uh, right so that uh, not exactly this ones but similar ones um, they're different quality ones around so what we'll do today is we'll get this candle and we'll get it connected to Google Home and we'll have it voice activated so it turns on and off uh, using Google right currently you obviously you know it comes with a little remote control and uh, you push on and as you can see the candle is on push off the candle comes off all right so that's done with a little remote control so how do you connect it to google home well there is a little trick uh, there is a device uh, basically it looks like this it's a little black box what it does it actually can learn the buttons on the remote control and this box can convert the uh, Wi-Fi commands or Wi-Fi signaling into infrared signaling which is what this remote is using to control the candle right so what we'll do is we'll, we'll configure this we'll configure the remote uh, with a device and then we'll start using it right so first things first uh, this needs to be added to the uh, our smart home network right and we'll do it by using the smart life app uh, I use it for just about everything and if you're interested what this device is uh, there's quite a few of, the, of them on the market uh, I'll put the uh, name description and the links to it uh, in, the, in the description as well and I'll as always put all the stuff that I'm using for this demo uh, into description as well so First of all, let's get it connected to the uh, to our Smart Life app, right? And what we'll do is we'll connect this to a power source, uh, and um, we'll jump onto our phone here, right? And as you can see, as soon as you connect it to the power source, it comes up with device found, right? Uh, because the Smart Life app does actually searches for the new devices. Um, we'll go add right uh, we'll enter our wi-fi information right so uh, because you need it con uh, configured onto your wi-fi network and again uh, wi-fi network needs to be uh, 2.4 gigahertz right so if, if you want to know more about it if if you're using smart home and automation etc you, you do know if you want to know more i'll put a description to my initial video where i talk the prerequisites about uh, what you need for home automation right and uh, I, I talk about 2.4 gigahertz network in there right so we'll go next now and it started configuring it so while it's doing that um, there's a few minutes give us a like subscribe um, and it's now ready so the device has been configured we'll call it test remote um, that that's absolutely fine for me right so we'll go done and we now have access to the device interface right so and what does it have this device is actually multi-frequency right so it has a radio frequency and infrared frequency right we'll be using infrared frequency for this uh, because the remote control for the can candle runs on infrared right so We'll click infrared remote box, right? Because I don't have any devices currently configured. It asks me to add a device. So we'll 
at the device, right? And in here, um, there's quite a lot of predefined stuff as you can see on, a, on, on the mobile screen. Um, what I, uh, for this example, what I'll do is I'll do it myself, uh, just purely for the speed. But if you are using something like a, if you're doing it for a TV or something, right? You can just copy the remotes across, uh, which is quite simple. So I will go into DIY, right? And then I'll go into the light uh, because that's a light. And we'll go and select others, right? So we'll create our own remote on here, right? So we'll go other, right? And now what it's telling us, it, uh, please point the remote controller to the device within three centimeters, right? So that needs to learn and you go, okay, right? So we've put the remote down here, right? As you can see, it's quite close to the device. And first we will learn the on button, so we'll hold the on, right, and we'll push on, right, and it's learned it. Now we'll do off button, so we hold off, right, and now we push off button on the remote control, and it's succeeded learning it, right. So we'll just do these two buttons uh, because it's it's simply just the easier for this example. And you go, okay, next. Uh, and learn, right? So now it's learned the two buttons on and off on the remote control, right? Um, in a remote model, what what we'll do is we'll call this device, right? So we'll go uh, test candle, right? And we we'll go save and we'll go save, right? So <coughs> we've got now a light. Um, what we'll do is we'll, let's change the name so it's more uh, understandable so we know which one we're using. Um, how do we change the name here? Uh, light, let's try this. Remove. Okay, and it. Not sure why I can't change the name. Um, should be able to, but maybe we're missing something. Okay, but anyway, so we'll, we'll go back to our home screen of the uh, Smart Life app, right? Uh, so we'll, we'll no longer need this remote because it's we're basically done with it. So we'll put it aside, and we have a light, right? So we have a new. A device called light here, right? And if we go into a device, there should be two buttons activated on and off. So let's try to see if this candle will turn on when we push on. Right, and says offline okay on yeah it's uh, probably could have been the the power or something but as you can see now it's on and if we go off it should come off right so on and off works perfectly right so now this device uh, so we're controlling this candle via the phone through this device uh, as you've just seen things do happen. Sometimes things don't work. Sometimes things need to reload. Sometimes things need, need to update, right? So there is sometimes delay. There could be a network delay. There could be, you know, a power jump, etc. right? So things do happen. Uh, so always be patient, check wo what you've done, make sure it's correct and check the, all the connections, etc. And generally, if you've done a run, right, it will work, right? So, what do we do next? Next, we need to uh, get all this connected to Google and be able to uh, use voice activation to activate the scandal. Right? So now we'll go to Google Home, right? And what we'll do first is 
will have to sync devices, right? And to do that, you issue a command to Google uh, by saying sync, de sync devices. So I have a Google device just saying just next to me here. So I'll go, hey Google, sync devices. Okay, and now Google has synced the devices, right? Uh, you generally want to do uh, that every time you add something to your third-party apps, because then the Google just goes and downloads the updated list of devices, right? Uh, the next thing is Google will not show this device in the list, right? So if we scroll down to, you know, the devices linked to me, right, we will not see a uh, light device in this list because Google does not for whatever reason doesn't recognize this device. However, what we can do is, and this is smart, Google pulls down the scenes from the, uh, from, <coughs> from the app, sorry. So what we'll do is, instead of looking for the device on Google, we'll create the scenes which turn the device on and off, <coughs> excuse me, and then will pull those scenes into Google. So to do that, we'll go back to Smart Life app, right? Uh, we we'll go, uh, we we'll go Smart, uh, no, we we'll go Scene, and then we we'll go Tap to Run, right? And I already have some scenes here, right? So uh, this is actually the, the thing I use to control my uh, smart home, and I do have candles, as I said, th uh, throughout the house where they, they are controlled by Google. So to add a new scene, we push plus, right? And then we go launch, launch tab to run, right? And then we leave if section as it is, and we go then, uh, you go plus, and then you select run device. Uh, we select light, which is the light we've created, right? And we select on right and it will say light power on and basically what we can do is we can just edit that and uh, we'll call it uh, test candle on okay and we go okay right and we save it it's saved and and it's now show, shows up here. And to test it, what we'll do is we'll try uh, pushing it and the candle comes on, right? So what we'll do next is we create a second one for candle off. So we go plus again, uh, launch step to right, and plus run device. We go light and then we go off, right? And we'll edit the name, we'll call it uh, test candle off and we go OK and we save it right and it's saved and we test it by clicking it and the candle turns off so the scene automation is now working which is excellent so the whole setup is working now what we'll do is we'll create a routine uh, from Google Home to activate it and deactivate it, that scene, wi which is the way to pull those devices into Google. So we'll run the command sync devices again on Google. Hey Google, sync devices. And uh, so let the Google do his thing. And now we'll go into after it finishes or confirms that it's done. So it's done its thing. So now we go into our Google Home app, right? And what we do is we create a routine. Here's the result I found from search. Hey Google, enough. So sometimes Google talks too much and listens too much. But anyway, let's get back into the video. So in the Google Home, we go in routines, right? And it presents us with, with the, well, it shows us the existing routine we have or some uh, predefined ones here. 
All right, so Google has some predefined routines by default. What we'll do is we'll add a new one. Right, okay, so we'll add the starter, right? And what we'll do is, uh, when I say to Google Assistant, and what we'll say is, we'll say, test candle on, right? So when we issue this command, test candle on to Google, we'll expect the candle to turn on, right? And we'll add it. So that's our starter. That's our basic one, right? Now we need to add what, what to do next. And we'll go add action, right? And we'll go, uh, we'll select adjust home devices. And then we'll go adjust scenes, right? And then we, we pick the scene. So now it should have pulled the scenes from the, the ones we've created into the, app, uh, into the Google. So we should see test candle on and then test candle off at the bottom, right? So we'll select test candle on <coughs> and we'll go done and we will save it, right? And we'll do the same for candle off, right? So we'll add a new routine, add starter, uh, let's say uh, test candle off done and then we add an action and adjust home devices adjust scenes and we go test candle off sometimes what happens when you do this quite often sometimes you mix up on and off so sometimes your off command is actually turns it on and on command turns it off again so but it's easily fixed right and we, we save it right Okay, so let's say, let's just double check that we've got those routines in. Test candle on, test candle off. So now the moment of truth. Will it work, right? So we've got our candle here, right? Obviously not holding any remote or not pushing any buttons. We'll ask Google to turn it on. Hey Google, test candle on. And it comes on. Now to turn it off, we can say, hey Google, test candle off. And it's off. So it works. So you see, simple. Uh, we managed to get the candle, which is, uh, you know, usually controlled by something like that, remote control, to now being controlled by Google. And this now can be part of your, you know, smart home ecosystem. Um, Another few ideas that I can give you that what I'm using at home, for example, I have the setup and I'll bring up my phone again here. Uh, you see the, the last two, the top two uh, routines, right? So what, what I have is actually Google uh, automatically turning all the candles across the house on at seven o'clock and turn them off at 9.30. Right, so that, that's kind of the automation also can be easily done. But again, uh, you know, as I always say, you know, imagination is your only limitation, right? Uh, if you can imagine it, you can probably figure out the way to do it, especially now with all the, you know, gadgets, equipments, adapters available on the market, right? There's always a way to get something done. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it, you know, I hope you've learned something and it hopefully helps you on your home automation journey. So if you did, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you very much and take care. Bye.